Max Planck, 1858 to 1947, was a German theoretical physicist whose revolutionary ideas in quantum mechanics forever changed our understanding of the physical world. As the father of quantum theory, Planck's work laid the foundation for the development of modern physics and opened the door to a new era of scientific discovery. His contributions not only reshaped our comprehension of energy, light, and matter, but also paved the way for groundbreaking innovations in fields like electronics, computing, and cosmology. Born in Kiel, Germany, Planck grew up in an intellectually stimulating environment. His father was a professor of law, and his mother came from a family of scholars. Planck showed an early aptitude for mathematics and science, entering the University of Munich at the age of 17. He later studied at the University of Berlin, where he was influenced by the work of renowned physicists like Hermann von Helmholtz and Gustav Kirchhoff. Planck's early research focused on thermodynamics, a field that deals with the relationship between heat, energy, and mechanical work. In 1894, he was appointed a professor at the University of Berlin, where he would spend much of his career. It was during this time that Planck began investigating the behavior of heat radiation, a problem that had baffled scientists for years. Classical physics could not explain why objects like heated solids would emit different amounts of radiation at various wavelengths. In 1900, Planck made a groundbreaking discovery that would change the course of physics. In order to solve the problem of black body radiation, the radiation emitted by a perfect absorber and emitter of heat, Planck introduced a new concept. Energy is not emitted or absorbed continuously, but in discrete packets, which he called quanta. This idea was inspired by the work of Albert Einstein, who later expanded on the notion of quanta to develop the theory of the photoelectric effect. Planck's revolutionary proposal was expressed in what became known as Planck's Law, which describes the spectral distribution of radiation emitted by a black body. This law laid the groundwork for the development of quantum mechanics, a branch of physics that would later be developed by scientists such as Niels Bohr, Werner Heisenberg, and Erwin Schrödinger. Planck's work on energy quanta was formalized in the form of Planck's constant, a fundamental constant in physics denoted by H. Planck's constant represents the smallest unit of energy that can be emitted or absorbed, and its value is approximately 6.626 times 10 to 10 minus 34 joule seconds. This constant became central to the development of quantum theory and is still one of the key constants used in modern physics today. While Planck's quantum hypothesis was initially met with skepticism, it gradually gained acceptance as experimental evidence supported his theories. His work was pivotal in the development of quantum mechanics, which fundamentally changed the way scientists viewed the nature of energy and matter. Instead of treating energy as a continuous flow, quantum theory showed that energy is quantized, and this idea has had profound implications in areas ranging from atomic structure to the behavior of particles at subatomic scales. In 1918, Planck was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on quantum theory, specifically for his discovery of energy quanta. The Nobel Committee recognized his work as the catalyst for the revolution in physics that followed in the 20th century. Despite the fame that came with this honor, Planck remained modest and focused on the scientific progress he believed was still ahead. Throughout his career, Planck continued to contribute to the development of quantum theory and other areas of physics, he was deeply involved in the academic and scientific communities, mentoring young scientists, and serving as president of the Kaiser Wilhelm Society for the Advancement of Science. Planck also played a role in the early development of quantum field theory and was involved in debates about the philosophical implications of quantum mechanics, especially in regard to the uncertainty principle and the concept of wave-particle duality. Planck's life was marked by personal tragedy as well as professional triumph. In the early 1900s, he suffered the death of his beloved first wife. And later, in 1944, during World War II, he experienced the loss of his son, Erwin Planck, who was executed by the Nazis for his involvement in a plot to assassinate Adolf Hitler. Despite these personal hardships, Planck remained committed to science and continued his work until his death in 1947 at the age of 89. 
Max Planck's legacy is immeasurable. He was not only the father of quantum theory, but also a symbol of intellectual perseverance and humility in the face of scientific and personal challenges. His contributions have shaped the course of modern physics, influencing technologies ranging from lasers to semiconductors, and opening the door for future research into quantum computing, quantum cryptography, and the mysteries of the universe. His constant, Planck's constant, is a cornerstone of quantum mechanics and remains a key element in understanding the very fabric of reality. In honor of his lasting impact, the Max Planck Society for the Advancement of Science, one of the world's most prestigious research organizations, was named after him. Planck's work, particularly his introduction of quantized energy levels, continues to inspire physicists and researchers around the world. His theory of quantization remains fundamental to many areas of modern science and is integral to the scientific understanding of the universe today.